Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marital Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Matthew, chapter 22, verses 34 to 40. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. I must say that this Gospel passage is one of my all-time favorites. The reason why is because Jesus simplifies the crux of Christian living into two very clear instructions. Love the Lord God and love my neighbor as myself. However, it is very simple to understand, but can be challenging to follow, depending on the health of our self-esteem and how we relate to the people around us. Here's the thing. These two guidelines are by no means as simple as putting a check mark on the complete box. To truly live as such takes a lifetime to master. It is because by our nature we carry with us whatever brokenness that fogs up our ability to see how perfectly we are loved by God. It is this obscurity that makes us doubt just how precious we are, and sadly, this is oftentimes projected onto others. So whenever we encounter someone who is nasty to us for no apparent reason, please know that it is because he or she are under the misconception that they are unlovable. And believe me, this is something that I need to remind myself constantly. So let us first hold true to the fact that no matter what we have done, God's love of us will remain unshaken. And through this practice, the second commandment from Jesus, that is, to love our neighbors as ourselves, will follow suit naturally. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and wonderful day. If you enjoyed today's gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at marynollsociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at marinolmagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.